as soon as you engage your projector screen, you're going to lose the attention of your audience. I mean, this is okay. We're showing them valuable content that we want them to see, whether it be a text, a diagram, a chart, but as a presenter, we need to be able to control their attention. So what I want to show you now is how to use the builds and actions within Keynote to push and pull the audience's attention and how to bring it back to us as a presenter. Now, the best way to lose your audience's attention is to show them some text and not just text, but a huge slide of text like this. Again, this is a really good example of a bad slide. So general rule of thumb with text-based slides is to keep it simple, to keep it uh, legible and to keep it really easy for your audience to consume. And bottom line, there's way too much work for your audience member to read this. So how can we improve upon this? Now this slide's a bit better in terms of tech, a text-based slide. The lines are broken up. It's a bit easier to read in terms of legibility. But again, the bottom line here is there's way too much content on screen all at once. So if you were presenting line three and you're talking about point three, your audience is still gonna be looking and reading at point two or point one. So they're not hand in hand with you. They're not following along with you as a presenter. And again, you have to be able to control and maintain the focus of the audience. So let's see how we can improve on this and make it a bit better for our audience. So let's step out of presentation mode. And again, we have a couple of text objects on screen here. And what I want you to do is to come up to your animation section. So this option here, we want to click on animation and let's select all of these objects. So again, just to confirm or just to clarify for some people, this is a text block, yes, but uh, in Keynote it's referred to as an object. So this is one object. So let's hold down the shift key and select all of these objects. And then let's click on add effect. Now there's many effects in Keynote in terms of animations and builds, but let's keep it simple and keep it professional here. So let's choose the boring dissolve. Now in terms of duration, I'd recommend a 0.5 in terms of duration for the delivery. And again, we're going by object here. You can select by object, by word or by character. But again, we want the delivery by object, which is this entire block of text here. We'll leave the order as is, and we're going to deliver all at once. So let's take a look at this and see how this is gonna play out. So again, when we click play, we introduce the uh, intro to our slide and we click advance. We're presented with line one, we talk about line one, etc. You click advance again, you're talking about line two, etc. And you proceed to line three. So again, this is okay, but it could be a bit better because again, you may be on line three, but your audience is still trying to consume and read the other points and they're not following along with you. So let's back out again. And what we want to do again, we have our object selected. So I'm going to select the first object and in or next to the builds, let's click on action and let's click on add effect. And again, there's multiple effects, but to keep this simple, let's choose opacity. Again, let's keep the duration at a 0.5 and hit return. And opacity, you can play with this. So again, the opacity is the, the legibility of the object. So right now it's uh, the default is 50%, but let's back this down to 5% so you get a good idea of what this is gonna look like. So I've added 50 or a 5% uh, opacity. We'll click the second object. I'm going to add the effect. We'll click opacity. And again, let's adjust this to 0.5 and the opacity will say is 5% again to keep them even. Now the last object, you don't need to uh, adjust in terms of an action or opacity because that's the last object on the screen and that's what you'll finish off with. So let's see how this plays out. Now, one other thing to note here, what you want to do is to click on the build order on the bottom here. And this is going to control how these uh, actions and builds are presented. So we have line one was the dissolve, which is the initial dissolve that we added. But what you want to do is to bring the line ones all, or the line ones, the line twos and line threes all in order. So let's highlight line one and click and drag and release this beneath line one. And let's do this with line two as well. So again, the way this is gonna read is line one is going to present in, as a dissolve. When we click advance again, line one will reduce to a 5% opacity. Line two will present as a dissolve, et cetera, et cetera. Now again, we're presenting on click or proceeding on click. So again, when we click, it's going to uh, 
present the builds as we have them laid out here. So let's just close this and now let's play this and see how this is going to play out. So again, we introduce our slide, we click to advance, we discuss line number one. When we click again, it's going to reduce to 5%. And again, we proceed to line two. Now, again, you can see how this is working. Audience is following along with me in terms of line two. This is what I'm talking about. And this is what the audience is being presented with. I click advance again. Again, I can bring the audience back to me now. Okay. The, they can virtually not see the screen. And again, I click at advance and I present line three topic line three, I discuss, et cetera, et cetera. And I click advance again and I finish my slide. Now, again, so that's a pretty easy way to use the builds and actions within keynote to control the flow of information. Again, the main thing is you do not want to present too much information to your audience and you don't want to present it all at once. If you present it all at once and you just throw it up there, they're just going to be focused and reading the slide, which you don't want them to do. You want to be again, focused on you as the presenter. Now, if you have more text-based slides, which you probably will during your presentation, obviously in keynote, it makes it really easy. So again, if you want to reuse this slide, all you need to do is to right click on the slide in the, the navigator here, and you're going to right click and click on duplicate. And again, you can adjust the slide title if you want, but let's just make this line four or point number four. And again, you adjust this as you need to and line six. So again, I've already constructed, we've already added the builds and we've added the actions. So that's already in place. So let's just back this up and let's see how this plays out. So again, I introduce my slide line one, line two, line three. And again, I move to the next slide, line four, line five, and I finish off with line six and that's it. So there you go, guys. I hope that helps in terms of controlling the flow of audience. Always remember it's about your audience. You want them to stay with you as a presenter and it's up to you to lead them. So if you guys have any questions or comments, concerns with keynote, I'd love to hear from you. Please let me know in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like the channel, please subscribe. Thanks again. Take care and I'll talk to you soon.